This is Armand from VAC Motorsports. Just want to show you some really cool stuff. So you see these little holes here. This looks like an insert, and it is. This is the uh, BMW N54, Nancy 54 engine, a twin turbo. Uh, it's a custom rebuild, high performance that we built here at VAC Motorsport with the forged pistons, high quality rods, uh, boring it out. And then this is beautiful work. You wanna just see this. When, you, when we make this, we have to make these aluminum inserts. They, this is to make it what they call closed deck because these engines had big holes here instead of these inserts. And you know the argument is that they're not stable under a lot, a lot of pressure. But there's a couple of things we want to inform you about. If you buy the head gaskets, the metal head gaskets, this is a metal head gasket. You can see layers of steel, MLS, they call it. Uh, we sell them here. Just want to inform you of a very important thing to know, to, to keep in mind. Uh, they use rivets to hold the layers together. And uh, unfortunately, this guy assembled this engine and wasn't careful. And it was actually a defect uh, design by the head gasket company. They put this rivet, as you can see, one is missing here. We discovered this engine had a leak because it was installed here. You can almost see the imprint where the rivet was. So clearly, these rivets are, that are here are safe because they hang on the edge. But this one happened to land right between the head and the block. Now this is a beautifully finished block by VAC. The head was beautifully finished, but wasn't careful assembly, or clearly it was bad design by the head gasket people. So whoever you get your head gaskets from, make sure that if you're doing an MLS, there is no tolerance, it's steel. You're not compressing steel. So it has to be, everything has to be perfectly even. And any of these rivets have to be in the non-surface area, okay? I just thought this is cool. Not many people get an up close look at this beautiful design, beautiful work, compliments uh, to us. But um, this is gonna be a 700 horsepower engine. We're gonna correct this head gasket issue. We just had a coolant leak and then we're gonna take it from there.